We discover the city of Buenos Aires in this episode and experience the nightlife of the city. Then we head south to the coast and experience the amazing sights of the burrowing parakeets and so much more. Our exploration of the leafy, leafy city of Buenos Aires continues. I've got the man flu, so I'm not the most awake. But today we are heading to... La Bomba de la Villa de Vu. No, La Bomba del Tiempo. At the time bomb. Every Monday at Ciudad Cultural Connects. And what is it? It's a drumming Six music um, get together where people drum and dance and I think you can have drinks and eat something. And we're meeting our friends, the Buzzingtons, um, before they depart. And we just love walking around Buenos Aires. Let me show them. Because it's flat. Yes, it's flat, but it's also very green. So everywhere we've been walking in the city, I don't know, crisscross. They say it's a, it's a very square city um, and the blocks are basically 100 meters crisscross. Um, but just huge trees everywhere. <coughs> uh, we're talking big trees like that one. And that one, I, I, oh. I'm going to say something else. Okay. So this time around, I really do like tiny little shops between the bigger ones. Because mm. us being so used to supermarkets, you don't really want to go into a small shop. But this is how the people shop. Mm. All the bargains are in the, in the smaller shop or there's a nut shop or a half shop. Yeah. I, I really like that. Uh, maybe it, once you get used to it. Yes, and maybe also it brings the, I don't know, the community a bit more together. <laughs> I'm not, yeah. But, but I think this might be my favorite Really? Okay, so I must now um, Let's look, go look at Bomba del Tiempo. Let's go. Vamos! We meet up with our friends at La Bomba del Tempo, an energetic, invigorating experience that happens every Monday evening. pop in to have a look at how the work's continuing and it's looking great most of the prep work is done only need to do the prep work uh, um, on the roof and then they can start the spray they've taken off most of the um, fittings that needs to be taken and where the rust is so I think it's gonna work out very well you happy honey yes while on a walking tour of Buenos Aires, we also got to experience a peaceful but enthusiastic protest for women's rights and reproductive rights. Buenos Aires has a lot of markets with buskers, food stalls and a small shops to enjoy. We meet up again with our friends for a rock show and we saw the hives playing in a club with an extremely energetic crowd. So our time in Buenos Aires is slowly coming to an end. And um, are you ready to say goodbye? Yes. Yeah. Two are weeks, you ready? It's two weeks in us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I really enjoyed it here. Yeah, yeah. Out a bit, sink a bit. Yes, all of us got sick and we're um, slowly getting healthier. Somebody's got a total makeover. Yes, and now we're going to see how far our car is to see if we can um, collect it tomorrow. You excited? Yes. The work on our van turned out great and we could get on the road again. So we've just collected the tough little guy all freshly painted and now it is for the big pack everything in 
Make sure it's clean where you pack stuff. Are you happy to be packing again, honey? Yes. <laughs> not, not quite. Well, yeah, I'm glad you're back in the car. Mm, I'm happy to eat the road. Yeah, I enjoy Buenos Aires, but um, it's time. Yeah. Oh, back on the road. We have to say goodbye to Buenos Aires. But it's time to head further south. Chasing the summer all the way down to the southernmost point of the southernmost point that we can drive in South America. You happy to be behind the wheel again? Yes. I just want to get out of the traffic. Well, well I know we are on the highway. We spent a lovely last day with Christian and Laura, our great friends. People that have opened their hearts and home to us. We will be internally grateful for their friendship. Then we headed south to get to the coast of Argentina and to Patagonia. It was a thousand kilometer route through farmlands to the coast where we wanted to find the burrowing oh, Maybe it's a bit wet because it's putting down. It's thunder and lightning. And for the first time since the Peruvian coast, we are approaching the sea again. The sea is brown, it's muggy. It's not a, a perfect beach day. No. But we can um, see the clouds clearing up as we are hitting the beach. Um, so we found the birds and there are literally hundreds of them. They are nesting on the cliffs just down here. There's literally thousands and thousands of little burrowing holes into the cliffs. They are very talkative and quite noisy but it is a lovely sight to see at sunset the wind was howling through the day but now it's calmed down considerably but we have heard the weather were ominous and although summer has arrived the weather did not hear this news yet after a short visit to the parakeets, we hit the road again as another storm was brewing and we hoped to outrun it. It's a very rainy start to our morning and it's been thunder and lightning all around. We are in Patagonia! <laughs> yes, officially we are in Patagonia. It's still a few thousand kilometers south. But we are getting a taste of some stormy, stormy weather and we have to say goodbye to the, to the, the burrowing I think they are Parrots. all on the... Yeah, we, well, we, will we hope to see some more. But disappointing today. But, you know, weather is weather. Yeah, it's right, yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yes, so um, I think uh, everybody here uh, um, wants the rain to come. It looks like the farmers need it. But we are in the car quickly after a cup of coffee. And we are heading further down along the coast. And this is actually the Gulf of Don Matias, I learned yesterday. And we are going to head east along the coast and then um, hopefully um, curve a little bit down south. And maybe we will find our friends today. The Buzzingtons are buzzing around somewhere in the yellow bus. And I think we have found our um, partners in crime. We see a yellow bus and a very long fella. So that's most. Oh, yes. That's me. Yes. I'm only getting up. Yeah, and, they, and it's 12, 12 o'clock and they're still half asleep. And we've made it back to the sea from the north coast of Colombia to the west coast at Peru and now we are on the east coast in Argentina. Next up would be the most southern point that we will be driving. Yeah. Are you happy to be back at the sea? It's actually quite nice, yes. Um, the rugged, windy, but it's nice to be back. Yes. Not always beach weather and now the next step is to collect some sea sand for my memory bottle. 
as we want, keep collecting um, sand. Do you want some sand? I want some of this, this. With, the, with the white Pieces. clippies and, you know. More of this? Yeah. Got some salt from the Salar and sea salt from all over you South America. You can see the line a little bit. So yes. this is from Colombia, Colombia, Peru, Salar, and Argentina. Okay. Yeah. It's bad for the animals. Yes. Do your okay. good. Must I take this? Yeah, please. Do your good work for the day. And just a quick reminder for those watching us on YouTube, you can support us by going to patreon.com forward slash fearless and four wheels as we do group cleanups to say thank you to all our patrons and we keep removing trash as we travel the world. We spent a few days with Annalene and Ben on this beach, although summer still did not arrive. But we had amazing company and amazing sunsets. Then we hit the road again, heading inland towards Baraloche and the Andes Mountains. Suddenly we can see the Andes again, snow-capped mountains. Amazing lakes and a great Christmas gathering with friends and other overlanders before we headed over the Andes to Chile. But that's a story for another time, so please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our patrons for making these videos possible.